So welcome to the dark room. I'm Annalise Sandberg. We're at U, uh, USF St. Petersburg. I am an art student with a focus in printmaking and graphic design. I'm going to walk you through how to do a photopolymer process, which is why we are in the dark room. So basically, this process is a way to develop photography that dates back hundreds of years. This process has been around master printers from past centuries have done this. So basically it creates this rich aesthetic. It transports you into the image where photography, normal photography is a little bit flatter. This actually etches a plate which you then ink and go through the press and you're left with an image afterwards. So here is a photopolymer plate and normally this would be exposed because they're very light sensitive. Polymers is just, it's a plastic cover uh, backed on an aluminum plate. So first, we have our exposure unit, which this one is actually for silk screen, but we've changed it into a photopolymer process. So we have a 60% dense mesotint screen. This means that 60% of the light that comes from the exposure unit is going to actually go through the film and expose onto the plate, which creates a dot pattern onto the plate which will hold your image. So you put this down and then you peel the plastic off of the polymer. You put the polymer face down onto the mesotint screen. You close it and expose. The next step once this is burned is you take your photograph that you're wanting to develop and you place it onto the polymer just like that and then you put it face down onto the exposure unit and you expose it. So that's the first step of the process. After that, you, you rinse off the polymer in a 72 degree Fahrenheit water bath and make sure that all of the polymer is rinsed off, which then leaves your image. As opposed to traditional photography where you are exposing your negative, we create the positive image and then this positive is printed onto a film transparency and then that's what creates the very opaque. Now we're back in the print shop. Once the plate has been finished, it's time to ink it. So we use relief ink over here and you run it gently across the plate and then wipe it off. And you can see that the plate is inked. Okay. And then we come over to the printing press and we have to put it on a plate of copper first. And then we have a piece of paper. So now we have a wet piece of paper that we're going to put on. And then it goes through the press. Once it's gone through the press, you lift it off, and that's the image it creates. So going from the positive of the image to the plate to the final product, you can see the difference in tones and the depth that you can't get out of the positive. There's just a richness and an aesthetic to the final product that resonates with me as an artist that I prefer.